uh, July 11th, uh, 2007. I'm down at North American uh, Flight Services in Saratoga, New York. Yeah. I've got Dave up in the airplane right now. He's checking the angle of thrust on the engines. Um, actually, in the background there, you just notice that is the plane that was used in um, Sweet Home, Alabama. Sweet Home, Alabama, that's the, uh, the beaver. I don't know, there's a citation too. Frank's plane, you get a uh, King Air C C90. But as you, if you take a look around the weather, the thunderstorms have come in on the east coast. We call the weather forecast station and uh, we've got a system moving through here. We think it's gonna be better if we take off uh, in the morning, say around 7 a.m., 8 a.m., make some good ground, have nice clear skies. So that's the decision we're gonna make. Um, no sense on uh, you know trying to brave the weather, even though we are a couple of fearless beaver pilots with a lot of beaver experience. Um, it's, it's just uh, not good weather. Oh yes, beautiful looking morning here. It feels like about 72 degrees and warming up. We got very little wind and the humidity is down as well. So uh, we're a little bit excited about this. Okay, well my anxiety level just went up a little bit. I've, now I've got to fly the plane. Apparently uh, David's got amnesia. I didn't know where he is. So I'm gonna have to get him home. I've, got, I've only got 20 hours to do it. Let's see if I can do it. Grove City, Pennsylvania, on the on the border of Ohio. Uh, we're about uh, three and a half hours there in New York with the Beaver. Just getting some fuel up there. So we've been three and a half hours out. We still got a long way to go. We're just sort of traveling the border south. <laughs> Uh, 25 to 5, I, I, I guess actually 25 to 4 because we, we gain an hour. We're in a place called Kankiki, which is about 20 miles south of Chicago, Illinois. Uh, about six, seven hundred miles we've flown so far from Albany. Doing a good job here getting this thing fueled up. We're uh, chugging along. Stay tuned for some more action on Beaver across America. Nine point eight hour hours, and we find ourselves how many miles we've traveled? Seven hundred. Seven hundred eighty miles. Seven hundred eighty miles as the bird flies, and we're now in Muscatine, Iowa. Iowa. Muscatine, Iowa, uh, named after uh, apparently some uh, pearls, uh, or Muscatine pearls from years ago. It's a beautiful, beautiful country here. It's a lot of farmland, lush crops. This lady over here said that she'd never seen a Canadian beaver before, so she wants to come and look at the plane as well. <laughs> Oh, we got a theatrical, we got a theatrical buff here. Okay, get some gas. Excuse me, Miss, do you, do you mind walking on that wing for us? No. <laughs> Walk on the sidewalk, Dave, on the sidewalk. I mean, that's gotta be, that's gotta be 15 feet. You know, Miss, and we're, we're, we're back in uh, Kankiki, and I took off and I was a bit left wing heavy. I forgot he was still on the wing. Oh, no. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Third wing walker. North. You know, Muscatine, this is the Muscatine that Mark Twain wrote about. Yes. Uh, like sunsets of, uh, the, the sunsets of, uh, of uh, New Orleans and the Muscatine. Uh, we're on the bloody Mississippi River here, okay? Yankton, South Dakota, and the wing, wing walker Dave Barron. Whoa, Jesus, Dave! I would have had that. I would have had that on a film, buddy. Here, I'm coming. I'm coming. It's flat here. It's hot here, and it's beautiful here. This, Nebraska is just a little bit over there. They, they, they say they can spit on Nebraska. I mean, that's how close it is. So here I am, and another sunny, beautiful day in the uh, Midwest of the United States. We're probably a hundred miles. 
150 miles south, maybe a little bit west southwest of Winnipeg. This is what Yankton, South Dakota looks like. Uh, we're in the car traveling down the road. This is, this is what all these... Uh, Jack Daniels corn whiskey. Jack Daniels corn whiskey. And this is what uh, these crops look like close up. Here we are in Gillette, Wyoming. And uh, it's hot. Elevation is about 4,000 feet. And uh, it's a beautiful country here. Temperatures would stay. Well, I've uh, traded in the uh, beaver, and we now have a Gulf Stream. Uh, sorry, kids, can't land in the water. Just joking. You can land down in the water. Hey, it's uh, got nine o'clock at night for us. Friday the thirteenth. We're in Billings, Montana. Billings, Montana. It's pretty warm out. Uh, it's a big runway here. Um, See the FedEx jets all over the place. Okay, well it's day three and uh, we're on our way to the airport. Uh, the hotel has a shuttle. We're in Billings, Montana. Have a look. The car can. Yes, we're still alive, okay? Uh, the Lord, he, he landed the bloody plane in less than 500 feet, so this plane will do it. Uh, we both have, uh, we have broken limbs, I'm missing a front wheel, and it looks like there's a hole in the float, but that, that's not a problem. We, you know, uh, every landing should cost you uh, 10, 15 grand. <laughs> it's hot here, guys. We're at, uh, just across from Christina Lake, and it's smoking, smoking hot. All right, here we are at the uh, airstrip in Washington. And Dave and Russ loading up the beaver before they head to Vancouver to officially bring the plane in. And here we go. Of this runway, it's a good thing there's a stall kit on this plane. 